everyone. So today's task is to replace the anti-friction material um, that was once on this ski and has seemed to have uh, departed. Uh, if you don't know what this is for, this is to allow lateral release of the boot. Um, this just ensures that the boot will move freely sideways and has no mechanical friction um, due to the weight onto the bottom of the boot and um, it essentially rubs against this. So this is essentially PTFE, Teflon, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I had two of these skis um, both of them uh, had this piece missing. So what I did was I ordered some three M three hundred SLE adhesive backed um, Teflon sheets, and I happened to get mine through Amazon um, from. Souls to dance. So I guess this is uh, very useful for dancers, but it's also useful for skiers, which is why we're using it today. Some more information there. Just get that on camera in case you guys want to want to make note of it. There's a warning on here. It says this is incredibly sticky. You should not get it anywhere near your fingers, um, which is good because that means it will stay on for a while at least. What I did was I, I measured across here. It was around 16 millimeters. Uh, we'll use millimeters for this. We're not gonna go imperial. We wanna be a little more precise. So I was around 16 millimeters that way. It was around 50 millimeters this way, slightly less on the backside because as you can see, it's tapered. And I cut a strip off the end of the sheet. I then actually estimated a rough profile for the uh, the tapered edges what I also did was I took my knife and just rounded these edges just a little bit it's not too difficult to carve isn't this stuff um, it is. these edges are very square so it may just be worth just running blade across the edge just to chamfer the edges and make them a little more smoother um, this will help because this is where the boots going to come across and engage and it's going to try and peel the edges up we want to think these things to uh, to stay on so at least give ourselves a little more chance and that's all you need to do just a little bit just to smooth the edges you can feel that with your fingers it's nice and uh, nice and round. Next thing to do is to prepare this surface. There's a little bit of plastic that shouldn't be here. It's just been distorted, probably by a boot. Let me just take that off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to. This is probably. Yeah, it's not that hard actually. I was going to scrape this off. Um, without damaging the surface underneath and then I'm going to use a little bit of uh, I guess you can use uh, Acetone I'm using this speciality thinner pro thinner, which is uh, what, what used to be MEK uh, Incredibly strong will suck the oils out of your fingers Quicker than you can imagine um, so always wear gloves when you're you're dealing with with this Acetone slightly more gentle um, and we'll probably do the same uh, the same job acetone being essentially nail polish remover so after doing the first ski um, I realized that the the uh, the MEK substitute the uh, the heavy duty super heavy duty thinner um, this one uh, is a little too strong it starts to eat the plastic very quickly um, which although it gets incredibly clean there's a lot of uh, material I need to remove from here so I'm going to downgrade and use the acetone and see um, see if that works better. This will be a little gentler on the uh, on the job. I just swapped the camera over so I can get a better angle to work on this. It might not be a better angle for you guys to see what I'm doing, but um, it will allow me at least to do this properly. So this brings the old adhesive off pretty well. 
without attacking the plastic which the uh, the pro thinner was doing you will get a little bit of stickiness here because effectively what you're doing is reactivating the adhesive that's on there as well so it's sometimes difficult to tell whether you're dissolving plastic or you're uh, you're actually removing adhesive the one thing about an anti-friction device it's made of Teflon and the whole thing about Teflon is nothing sticks to it so this is obviously a special adhesive that they use um, to make this happen so, get one final clean and then we'll uh, we'll get in there and start working now it's um it's about eight degrees Fahrenheit this morning when I woke up it's a little warmer now but the garage is still cold um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the heat gun just to warm just to warm this up a little and give the adhesive a little more uh, chance to work and the other thing I should say when I'm doing this is this is not recommended you should really go to a ski shop and get this done by someone who who knows what they're doing but uh, being an engineer born and raised um, I always find it difficult to let somebody else do a job that I think I can do myself even though they might have more specialist knowledge than me um, I guess it's a trust thing at least I know this way it's been done properly to the best of my knowledge so I think that's enough temperature in there we should get a good good adhesion so like I said hold this by the edges do not touch the adhesive if you touch the adhesive there's a good chance this will stick to your fingers and never come off and of course I've lost all my corners so I can't grab a hold of anything there we go get it lined up in at least one spot and keep it straight work it down and make sure we get good adhesion and what we'll have to do once this has cooled down I don't know if there's a cure time on this I've not read there's a cure time on there but uh, but I'd like for that to uh, to sit for a while and uh, and at least cool down so just after I stuck this on and was ready for walking away um, I actually bothered to read the instructions always a good idea is that and uh, it recommends that uh, this adhesive is put under pressure it is pressure sensitive and uh, it, you will get the best possible bond with with adding pressure so I'm just going to use this simple clamp on here and uh, unfortunately it doesn't match I'll go across the whole entire width but uh, better than nothing so we're going to clamp that on there it recommends a few minutes is fine um, I'll leave it on there until I get back to it so here's the full instructions on how to deal with this stuff and I forgot to mention earlier that um, this was around 22 bucks I think from Amazon uh, it's a 6 by 12 it says here 6 by 12 Adhesive layer with outliners is 3.5 mil thick. Some instructions there. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this was helpful.